To help water systems with proper pipe selection, the American Water Works Association has developed some minimum standards for distribution system piping. These standards are developed under the procedures accredited by the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI. So they are called the ANSI AWWA standards. The AWWA standards dealing with pipe can be found in the following major categories. Pipe and accessories, which includes ductile iron pipe and fittings, steel pipe, concrete pipe, as well as valves and hydrants. Then there's pipe installation and service lines, as well as plastic pipe. In addition to the AWWA standards for distribution system pipe, there are standards established to ensure that products that come into contact with drinking water do not leach contaminants into the water. NSF 61 is the standard that all pipe material must meet to be used in potable water systems. In addition to meeting the minimum NSF 61 and AWWA standards, there are some other considerations when selecting pipe material. And these include the strength of the pipe, the pressure rating of the pipe, the durability of the pipe, the corrosion resistance of the pipe, as well as the inner surface smoothness of the pipe, and the ease of tapping and repairing the pipe, as well as water quality maintenance. The pipe must be able to handle both the internal pressure as well as the external load. The external load is a result of the backfill material once it's buried, as well as any traffic load if it's installed in a traffic zone. The internal pressure will normally be in the range of 60 to 100 psi, but the pipe must also be able to handle pressure surges as well. Tensile strength is the measure of how much resistance the material has to longitudinal pull before it fails. Flexural strength is the measure of the pipe's ability to bend or flex without breaking. Pipe shear or beam breakage can occur if either the tensile strength or the flexural strength of the pipe is exceeded. The pressure rating of the pipe selected for a particular installation should be 2.5 to 4 times the normal operating pressure of the system. When replacing a damaged pipe, the new pipe pressure rating must meet or exceed that of the pipe being replaced. When a new pipe is installed, it should be able to provide many years of trouble-free service. This includes maintaining its watertight integrity at the pipe joints over its service life. The durability should meet the expectations of the utility based on the cost of the pipe. The internal and external resistance to corrosion must be considered when selecting pipe material. Water on the inside of the pipe may be moderately corrosive, but the soil on the outside may be very corrosive. So both circumstances should be addressed when selecting the pipe material. The measure of the roughness of the inner wall of the pipe is called the C value. The higher the C value, the smoother the pipe wall. Smooth pipe is important because a rough pipe surface will cause head loss and poor hydraulic performance. The material used for new pipe installations should be easily tapped for new service connections. It should also hold up well at the tap and not crack. Replacing an old service tap should be a simple operation that doesn't damage the pipe. The pipe material should not alter the quality of the water that's flowing through it. This means that it should not add taste, odor, chemicals, or any other undesirable quality to the finished water that's being delivered to the public for consumption. The materials for a pipe installation project makes up only a portion of the cost. Installation labor cost must also be factored into the overall cost of the job.
Proper prior planning can go a long way to reduce the labor cost by solving problems in advance of their occurrence. There are four general types of pipe systems, which include transmission lines, in-plant systems, distribution mains, and service lines. Transmission lines are large diameter pipes that are designed to carry large volumes of water over long distances. They typically don't have many side connections and are not tapped for individual customer service connections. In-plant pipe systems are generally exposed for the operator to see and have many valves, outlets, and bins. The distribution main is the pipe that carries the water from the transmission line and distributes it to the customers. Service lines are small diameter pipe that run from the distribution main to the customer's location.